Deep within the exotic jungles of Costa Rica is a river so unique it has inspired legends locally and around the world, the Celeste River. Originating from the base of the Tenorio volcano, this wondrous river runs with water so blue that natives claim that when God finished painting the sky, he washed his brush in the Rio Celeste. Science, of course, has a different explanation. The blue coloring is actually the result of a chemical reaction between the thermal steam emanating from the riverbed and the calcium carbonate that enters from a tributary. But since when do we let facts get in the way of a great story, right? Custom jewelry is a booming market, with more and more people designing and selling products of their own. So what goes into a successful custom jewelry business? Well, just like any other industry, it starts with a lot of work. We're talking research, learning everything there is to know about your target demographic, the market, and most of all, your product. Just because you've made beautiful bracelets that your friends adore doesn't mean you're an expert in the entire field. Read as much as you can about different stones, gems, and metals. Talk to people in the industry. Go to conferences, even. The more knowledge you gain, the more money you'll eventually make. If you enjoy outdoor activities, then you're going to love whitewater kayaking. It's fast-paced, adventurous, and full of heart-pounding excitement. But all that fun doesn't come without risk. You've got waves, waterfalls, swells, eddies, and rocks coming out of nowhere. Navigating these hazards requires skill and experience, and you should never head down a river until you've received proper training first. Today, we're going to go through some basic safety tips that will allow you to enjoy the thrill of whitewater kayaking. We feed our children fruits and vegetables because we want them to be healthy. The last thing we expect is for those nutritious foods to make them sick. But unfortunately, that's happening far too often here in North Carolina. That's because toxic pesticides are being used on our crops with little regulation. But here at Toxic Free NC, we're working to change that by advocating for common sense alternatives that protect the health of our families and our environment. 